Now here's a fantastic food as gifts idea, a chocolate salami with ginger, apricot and macadamia. No, it's not salami dipped in chocolate, but rather a dessert that looks like a salami. Melt your chocolate in a double boiler. If you don't have one, simply place a bowl over a pan of simmering water. Make sure your bowl is bigger than the pan, otherwise the steam will come into the chocolate and can cause it to fail. Add the butter and leave it to melt. Don't stir it around too much. When the chocolate is melted, take it off the heat and stir in your chopped up fruits and nuts and cookie crackers, whatever you've chosen to use in your salami. Once the ingredients are nicely incorporated, shape it into a log on a piece of parchment paper, roll it up and place it in the fridge for three to four hours to set. It should look something like this. Unwrap the salami and discard the paper and the string that it was resting in. Place the salami onto a baking sheet with some extra powdered sugar and roll it around in the powdered sugar. It's going to look really, really believably like a salami at this point. Now, this next part is not essential, but if you really want it to look believably like a salami, you're going to need some more string and tie it like you would tie a filet, a filet or a filet mignon for roasting. Now watch the technique I'm going to show you. Put the string around my hand, around the salami, and then you pull it tight. Now it is a little tricky. You need to just help the string kind of move it back and forth because it's going to get a little sticky. Keep wrapping and repeat until you get all the way down the end of the salami. Flip your chocolate salami over and thread some of the strings underneath through the loops so that it stays put. Tie it off and cut the excess string. Coat the salami on all sides with a little bit extra powdered sugar. This will make sure that it doesn't get sticky. And now we're ready to rewrap your very believable looking salami again. So place it onto a fresh sheet of parchment paper, which is a little bit longer than the length of your salami. Gather up the two ends of the, the parchment paper and fold it over. Crimp and twist the ends on both sides and tie with some extra string. Now your very believable looking salami is ready for you to present as a gift. So you've got lots of options here. You can place it in a basket, you can place it in a gift bag, or you can do what I chose to do here. And we placed a silver band around the middle of the salami and put it on this gorgeous holiday tray. I'm sure your friends will love it. Enjoy.